See lots of familiar faces out there. Some folks who I haven't seen in a while. I'm glad that you're back for the finale. Um, and I see some, some Europeans and some Australians. So it's really nice that, uh, um, Bob and Hi. Diane did a count, John, and there are over 150 people in this room right now together to watch this. <laughs> that is so rad. I, that's I know. I was show. just going to say, before we start, like, you should just, like, take a second and look and, like, see what it is that you've created. Like, it's so inspiring. It's amazing. Well, not just me. I mean, I, I, all of us did this. And get it's, tissues. It's really nice. Um, oh, so I do need tissues for this one? Yesterday, 100%. I asked if I had tissues. I've never uh, seen I'm crying episode. already. Who hasn't seen it? Shelly, you haven't seen it, have you? Correct. I haven't I, seen it. Yeah. I haven't seen it. In Shelly. fact, there's a scene in it. There, there's a scene in it that I'm in, and I just have no context for what it is. Like, I, I, like I don't have any. I, all I just remember is <laughs> a bunch of us underneath a tent, and I don't know what we were doing. I don't know what was going on at all. I just know you that I was supposed happy. to be. That I just know that I was supposed to be cheering. This is my first time to see this episode, and I've been watching it with y'all this whole time. Wait, who said that? Jen. Oh, wow. Oh, that's right. That's right. Actually, Jessica told me that. So this that's is cool. exciting. And, and, that, and that was cool that you got on the couch as well. Yeah, this is going to be super fun. I'm excited. Awesome. That's so cool. All right, everyone. Let's do this then. Uh, if you've been here before, you know what we're doing next. If this is your first time, grab your remote, have your thumb on that play button, which should be at the 35 second mark, as I said, but don't press it yet because we're going to do that at the same time on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. Opening with Lala's. La, 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 la. For the last time. Like, I thought that that was Taylor for a second. Oh, you know what? I do kind of remember Christian, Christian Amanpour. Like, I don't remember so seeing her, but I remember hearing guessing. her name. I remember hearing her name. This is like the one time I was truly jealous of Rory as a character. So cool that it's her. This is the first bit of season seven I have ever seen. Oh, enjoy, you, Nick. You haven't seen season seven? No, I abstained out of protest. Oh, wow. It's, I mean, I know that Alan, that you said too. that you did the same, yeah, but it's not a bad season. It it's really not a bad season. So far, so good. <laughs> Don't be funny. John, could you maybe make our guests moderators so that they yes, can, yes, yes, uh, yes, can all see you at the top? Oh. I wonder if they gave, if the director gave Miss Amanpour that book because she's not really an actress and didn't know what to do with her hands. That's, that tracks. <laughs> that tracks. <laughs>
Oh, that's awesome. Just like a little cameo by Christian Amanpour. Awesome. That's like the best callback. I thought I remember reading, and this I could be totally wrong on this, but that they had added that scene at the beginning once they realized this was going to be the last episode. Oh. Oh, really? wow. I'm actually surprised they got her without Amy. But, you know, I... Sean actually mentioned this the other day, and I remember this to be the case, is that most people actually thought leaving the end of season seven that there would be a half season of season eight. In fact, I remember Scott walking around when we shot the last the, the last scene, which I believe is the one that I'm telling you I don't really know the context for it, um, sort of saying to folks, I'll see you next year, I'll see you next year, um, that even he was either either he, he believed it or he was trying to make it happen. Um, but an extremely, extremely hopeful man. Right. <laughs> trying to manifest it. What's happening right now? I'm a little trying to catch up. Roller coasters. A little holiday planning, I guess. Cedar Point. Those... Yay, Ohio, Shelly. Boop, boop. All those envelopes are giving me wedding invitation flashbacks. Where has this Rory been? The love rocket. One of the we one of the weirdest plot devices in the entire series. Hey, John, time code? Six twenty three. Oh, it's six twenty seven now. Hey, Suzanne. Hello, hello. Yeah. I didn't say hello, Devin. Hello. Hello. <laughs> do you think they're better as friends? John, do you have my hundred kernels? Mm. We need them for the memento tomorrow, John. <laughs> Mom. That's because brats are the worst. Like Australian brats or what? I was just making a pun about worst, but it didn't oh. work. <laughs> I'm, I'm, oh. I'm slow, I guess. <laughs> Sorry, just a little slow. I need a babysitter.
Bless Ed Herman forever and ever. Absolutely. Yes. Yes. I was at his house. He used to invite me to dinner every once in a while. Jealous. That's so cool. Are you not like that? She didn't actually go to that spa. Rory looks so good here. Oh, Emily. I love that dress. Hugo Gray has gotten a lot of mention for the amount of screen time that Hugo Gray got. That's true. Who's Hugo Gray? She met Hugo Gray at that party. They had like a very short conversation. And then like every other episode is like, Hugo Gray just called me. I can't wait to meet with Hugo Gray. And I'm like, man, that actor, <laughs> that poor actor. Ah. Uh... Whatever happened to that guy, Barack? Not sure. You haven't heard of him, he, right? I don't think he made it past the primary. <laughs> yeah, Rory came home in like two months. <laughs> Legit, Obama follows me on Twitter. What? Well, of course um, he does. Well, cool. He follows me, too. We're in the presence of greatness. See you at the lunch table, girl. What's Twitter? He sent me a very <laughs> stoic picture of Where? himself, so. Oh, in the fields. Oh. Yes. Who's that in the background? Who's that in my screen? <laughs> awesome. Always great energy from Caesar. Eris, Caesar's uh, Chile Quiles was last night. Oh, wow, was it? <laughs> Chile Quiles. Chile Quiles. Amazing. Oh, you don't look happy, Rini. <laughs> I need to catch up. I'm lost. But no, I'm unhappy. I mean, it's so interesting that, like, 
that that the writers <laughs> that the writers gave that kind of attention to Barack Obama at that time. I mean, obviously that he was already kind of a rising star, but that they would have it th that of all the things, all the pop culture references, that's one that aged pretty well. Like some of them don't age that well, but that one did. You Nailed know, it. Cal Cal Penn was on House, and he got himself to be killed off, committed suicide on the show, so he could quit acting and go and do what Rory's doing. That's, That's cool. cool. I always thought it was cool too that it's an online magazine because Politico was founded in like 2007. Yeah, so I know. Really, it really I, makes it, sense for her. It, it feels like it was that that it was inspired by that kind of stuff that was happening yeah. in the arts. Def I think definitely. Yeah, this. I just find timely. it. I just find it funny that um, you know because Barack because uh, the other candidate was Hillary and Rory's a massive Hillary fan. That's true. Yeah, that's really interesting. Wasn't this after Obama was on his own? Oh, I'm not sure. What do you mean on his own? Like, I think this is, I think this is after he beat out Hillary and he was just totally in the running by himself. Well, oh. this was, a, this was an set. This was, this would have, this episode would have been in, like late spring 07. Yeah. That's pretty and, early. Yeah. And they didn't really start campaigning, campaigning where it was like mostly the two of them until the fall. Yeah, exactly. She wouldn't have, I don't think, bowed out until 2008. I'm going to do a little reconnaissance as I put you on hold. Look who's responding to the song. Oh my gosh, Patty's um, Patty's here. Patty, come on up. Well, I, I don't want to put you on the spot, Patty, but if you would like to come up onto the couch, we would love to have you up here. If you if you are like, I'm not sure if I'm going to be here for a while, but great. Patty, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm great. I'm so glad to see you. Patty was a, she was Lauren's stand-in and was a part of our Gilmore family for many years. Five Welcome. years. Yes, five years. And I'm in this episode. So that's, and, I, I just saw this and I was like, what? I need to be on here. This is great. Yeah. So I can't wait to see you guys. You're going to be in Kent, right? Are you coming to Kent? I am. Oh I... my gosh, that's great. And by the way, I think I, I think we must live near each other because I think I saw you at the Sepulveda Basin. Yes. Yeah. But I, I wasn't I totally can... sure if it was you and I, and I was like, I had my dogs. Anyway, we'll talk about it later. Yeah. Sherman Oaks. I'm in Sherman Oaks. Yep. Okay. Okay. We got to talk. Got to talk. And hi, everybody else. Hi. I love this thing. Hi. Hello. Hello. <laughs> this is so I talk, cute. I talked to Liz on the phone this morning. We're having lunch on Monday and uh, told her that I was doing this. And she said, am I in that one? She She's sure in most is. of them. Liz is the best. How could she not be? Hey, Taylor's foot is all healed. It's a miracle. Wait, I'm TV not magic. Where One are you link. guys watching this? Are you guys are queuing it up on Amazon Prime or Netflix? Are you guys Netflix. Netflix. It's on Netflix. Yeah. So get so so bring up Netflix and then. Uh, once you have it all set, I'll tell you what the time code is. Oh, okay. And then you can just fast forward and you'll be watching along with us. Okay, cool. So how many of us had hot dogs and hamburgers today? Me, me. 
on me. I ate a little too much candy today. I went the girls' route. Canadian candy? candy. But that for the win. Lulu, Lulu does strike me as as being probably the best party planner in Stars Hollow. Totally. Like Lorelai is is right there next to her, but I think that I'd give it to Lulu. Thank you. Wicked burn, Todd. <laughs> what? No, just when Zach says you're highly irregular. I just love them in the last episode. They like take it upon themselves and over their tailor. It's like <laughs> He's really good at scratching. I saw Luke really push that one. It's about time they overtook him. Hey guys, after my big scene, I have to leave. Aww. Right after your We're big so scene. Glad you're here then. That huge scene. Oh, can, can, <laughs> Well, I can say this real quick while well, it's running. Um, Keiko and I did these interstitials for Up TV, which is a new, which is going to have a Gilmore Girls marathon over the Thanksgiving weekend. And we did those last week, and they were really goofy. But hopefully, Keiko was charming enough to save the the whole day. So, I'll oh, I'm in that. I'm in that scene. Oh, that's, that's so cute. That's the last scene we shot. That's, that's the last so scene we shot. Hey Todd, we can't wait. Hey Todd, are you going to be uh, in Kent in October? I, I am. Yes. Oh, okay, good. I'll see you there. I'll, I'll be at both events. Yeah. Cool. Me too. All right. Bye, y'all. Bye. Bye, Todd. Thanks Bye, for Todd. coming. Thanks Bye, for Todd. stopping in. Bye, Todd. Bye, Todd. You owe me money, Todd. <laughs> Timestamp, time please. Twenty-two thirty. Thank you. Love this best friend chat time. I remember this episode because there's, yeah, there's like party planning and it really did feel like, like in the zone of partying. It was a good vibe. Oh, that was so weird. That was on the porch outside. I've never seen a scene like take place on that little porch out there. I feel like that's one of those scenes that really made Lane a mom. Like, oh, my kids are asleep and I can just sit on the porch and like still be around for them. Also, is it the Sydney Harbour Bridge on Zach's shirt? Because that's what it looks like, but I'm not sure if it's something else. Oh, apparently it did say Sydney. Yeah, it is then. I mean, it is really cool to like look at them now and be like, oh, wow, they're they like when this all started, they were kids. It's, it's true. Like, if you look at it's kind of like the Harry season. Potter movie. It's kind of like the Harry Potter movies <laughs> a little bit. True. Except if you look at a still, it looks so young in season one. Keiko and I are the same age now. So she and I both started at the same time. I mean, same age. I took a lot of naps in Keiko's apartment. 
<laughs> Actually, I think she's like two years younger than me, but that's pretty close. Oh, that was so sweet. And we that... were quiet because we were Aww, trying not to cry. I, and I know, right? I'm not crying. I'm not crying. You're crying. Uh, you're crying. Stupid dust storm in my. I mean, living this room. sure does feel like a series finale. Mm. Oh yeah, it totally does. I saw the promo that Todd was talking about with he and uh, with uh, him and he and whatever Ed and Keiko. They both look great. It's really cute. There's Inger. That's um that's Rory stand in that just uh was with Miss Patty. Hey John, Valerie's here. Hey Val, I just sent you an, an invite. Come on up. Hey guys, I'm working at Santa Anita Racetrack on a TV show tonight. Um, so I'm not going to be able to watch the episode, but I'll listen. And then when you guys are done, just pull me up. I love that shirt. I love that shirt I'm wearing. I want that shirt. You look like Steve from Blue's Clues. I don't oh care. yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't it's care. Good. I still want that shirt. <laughs> Does look good. Let me guess. Sure. Is it penguin? Is it a penguin polo? It's a penguin polo. I'm pretty well, sure. Either that or it's a Ben Sherman polo. Oh yeah, Ben Sherman or penguin. Yay! He got a line. What size Steve do you wear? Uh, that's probably a medium. I'll be Thirty-six on long. <laughs> This is this was the last scene that we shot of the entire series. This because this was where this is where Scott, after we were over, he he you know, kind of congratulated us and shook our hands and 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 said, "I'll see you next year." This is where Scott basically jinxed us into not having a a, a season eight. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Oh, Scott. <laughs> <laughs> These are those different lalas again. They're like kind of happy but kind of melancholy and that is a fashion faux pas i would never do anymore which is to wear a white shirt underneath uh a polo line. i think that let's, was the style blame, back then let's blame valerie I'm surprised you didn't have the popped collar, too. <laughs> I mean, Jackson has it, too, so it may have been the style. Not me. Blame Brenda. 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 <laughs> it definitely also, would you all know that I mean, Valerie I, that wrote a my white shirt. That was definitely a white shirt that was placed in my trailer for me. But Brenda told me to place in there. How dare you listen to Brenda? I don't know why we did that. It doesn't make sense, but, you know, hindsight. Brenda gave me every piece of wardrobe I ever asked for. I love her times millions. I'm so jealous. No one gave you me a boss, John. What? Very, you should have very, asked, John. This is very sad, everyone. Tissues. Very sad. Ah, uh ahs. Yeah, that's right. They couldn't even put the L on there. They, it was too too much. 
Too much. The burden was too heavy. Feels like this episode's going by so fast. I know. It really does. <laughs> oh my goodness. I think this is the greatest act of love from Luke. Like this. Do you know what he's doing though, John? Do you know what he's doing? I, I do know what he's making, but I don't know what it was. Like I was there, but I don't remember. I don't really remember. I don't know what we were doing. Okay. It's going to come. I have a guess where I could get so much power. Oh, right. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. I, I didn't know what that was. I was just told. You need to just cheer. <laughs> this is like my favorite scene in the entire series with my favorite Lala's. And, and look, it's the best friend. That was, friend a, rain, that was, that was a, a rain yeah. machine. So that was a rain machine that they had that was that was creating that rain. Um, wow. Uh, that's all. And then it was just turned off. I that was so fine. It's the best friends in law that... getting the girls. Yeah, that it's was always sweet. bugged me that Rory's door to the car never closed in that rain. Like the car's gonna get flooded. Anytime we shot in rain, it's a nightmare. There you are, John. Oh, Look it's so great John to see everyone. <laughs> he was so excited. And all the extras that we've never ever seen before. That's one of my favorite Kirk lines. It's final job. Sash presenter. I would like to present you with the sash. Of course the sash came from one of his mom's nightgowns. Patty, is this the scene that you are in? I'm coming up soon. Um, I have a little behind the scenes kind of spoilers coming up here in a minute. <laughs> Emily wore that in way, one of the early, early seasons. And she may have been more, more than once or twice, I think. Yeah, I love it. I love. I always love seeing them in, in Stars Hollow, seeing these two there. I love Richard. Me too. And then Emily. Oh my God. Emily. And, and then he likes, he can't finish the sentence. That's, that's hitting me in the feelers. Okay. Now, if you weren't crying before. Okay, guys. When she's talking, she's not talking to Lorelai, she's talking to me. They shot Lauren's coverage and then Lauren went back to her trailer and Alexis did her lines to me. That's kind of rude. It made me really, I, I got really emotional though because we were just staring at each other and she's staring at me, not Lauren, it's so weird. <laughs> Yeah, but you were such a part of the family that I, I don't think that it's weird. No, it's just weird now looking at it because in when I was there, standing there, staring at Alexis, and it was emotional. I'm right. I'm coming up right now. I asked for bratwurst. Weird speech from Taylor. Like, ew. <laughs> so Collective woo. A little graphic. There I go. Bye, guys. You guys missed it. You might be a bit ahead. Maybe I am. Oh, gee. Yeah, because Rory is now just talking. Sorry, guys. I'm a little bit ahead. Something's weird with my timer, too, Valerie. I'm ahead as well. 
but apparently I'm in line with the time. You're in line with me. I'm a little ahead. And that's because I was the one who started the timer and I started a little ahead. <laughs> So I'm at the top of the nighttime party scene. We are not there yet. Yeah, mine just started. Now we just started. I mean, we're off by like, you know, five seconds. It's just my, my, yeah, we're pretty close. You were just so excited to get started, John. There's Patty. Out there's there. there's Patty on my there's screen. There's Patty. I, I got love how they put you together. <laughs> It was, uh, yeah, it was fun. And Lauren gave me the line to ask for bratwurst. <laughs> was it a good bratwurst? <laughs> well, it was there a was joke no bratwurst. from earlier. It was, yeah, because Luke didn't order it. So it Hi, was everybody. Kind of a joke. I know, I'm kidding. <laughs> hey, Sean. Sean, hey. Welcome, welcome back. Sean. Anyone could give someone a line. Hey, dude. Hey, how's it going? Good. We're almost, uh, we're almost at the end of this episode. All right. You missed your What's last up, role as official sash maker. But you, you presented that sash so well. Using your mom's nighty. I once met Sean Gunn in real life. What? No way. Whoa. Way to brag, dude. What? Like, name dropping's not cool. I'm pretty sure calls? I kissed Sean Gunn in real life. Don't believe him. <laughs> Don't wear jeans. First, Obama follows you, Nick, and then you tell us you met Sean Gunn, and you're Lulu having fight lunch man. with Liz Torres. It just keeps getting crazier. What is it like to be God's favorite? It's pretty sweet. Lulu needs to fight for her man. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, did, did, did oh, Emily, Emily just start crying? That oh, is one of the best of Emily lines. Did Emily just start crying? Yeah. Did... I'm not crying. crying. You're crying. Yeah, I believe it. <laughs> oh, here's Sean. Yes. Oh, we're close. We're close. We're close. Bam, kernels in my account. A whole hundred of them. <laughs> in my account. <laughs> I'm not seeing kernels, kernels in my <gasps> account. Now, Mary. I love that ending. The funny kernels. thing is that Mary legit forgot about this. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> when I made the bet, I, I had to be reminded that they actually did kiss. I really thought they didn't. I but she was so then, psyched that she was going to win, yeah. and I was like, but Mary, they do kiss. Um, yeah, that was like a, I thought, I thought I might win on a technicality. That was a full-fledged, I got that one. That was really satisfying. You did, you did. By the so, end, but, but, but I actually started to believe that maybe I wasn't going to get it, that I'd have to wait till the revival for it. I'm good. It was part of our evil plan. I think this is another scene I read that um, Lauren had um, got them to add once they weren't really sure so that it would work as a series finale. Wait, was that their first kiss? That was, no, that was the first kiss since they've broken up. Oh, God, I missed years. Oh, yeah. you miss, I mean, you missed their actual first kiss. 
which was also pretty awesome. But Sean this one played was, a big role on that first pretty, This one was pretty incredible, though. Hmm. Oh, my favorite line. Oh my God. <laughs> was it, you've given me all I need or was it okay? Because I, uh, <laughs> I actually think okay was the more awesome line there. Yeah, actually, that's very astute. May all parents hear that though one day. You've given me all you need. I need. Yeah. Yeah, the best episodes are the ones where they're, I don't know, yeah, they're having their mom-daughter moments. I agree, Rini. I mean, there was like some lags and then, it, yeah. Look at that necklace. Pilot ends. The pilot ends on them. On them here in the diner, sitting talking, right? just as yeah. it should. Yep. You're All so is right in the world. John. Yeah, I mean, as much as it would be nice to have ten more episodes, this is this is the end. I mean, this like they've they clearly cap cap this off oh yeah this was a series finale for sure yeah 100 percent, 100 percent. and it ends and as I, it starts mother wow. and, daughter. and i think it's Pulling so great we walked away from this scene not thinking it was the end so it's kind of sad re-watching this best line ever take all the time you need oh so romantic oh so romantic that was incredible so that was that was an <laughs> awesome finale episode, and I get I get the not wanting to watch season seven because you know just because Amy and Dan weren't on it. But having watched it, I really think that you're missing out. It's it's got some great stuff in it, some really great stuff in it. I got some TV to watch now. It's good. I do think they did a great job with the finale. Yeah, I feel like a lot of us um, fans, we really, really like the finale, especially like with Rory, but didn't necessarily like everything with the year in the life. Sorry, I don't mean to do spoilers, but. Having not seen any of Seven um, until this moment, uh, I would say that that finale is a lovely tribute to the series but does not compel me to want to watch season seven i thought that was a beautiful tribute to the series beautiful tribute because it was really about the town yes and the girls and i'm cur i'm curious why would you say that it's not compelling enough to want to watch season seven like I, just curious, you know, if you it, thought it, that it, it was such a great tribute to the series. Well, you know, because it's it's full of uh, devices. I, I, you know, I, I kept citing. It's sort of like watching, um, uh, like a cool sequel to something that's got callbacks to an original. Um, I don't know, you know, but I, I, I thought it was perfectly lovely, um, but. I don't know. Maybe I'm maybe I'm just maybe I'm just stuck in my ways on no, this. No, Nick. And I've got no, I've got no, growing. Have you ever do. seen season seven, Holmes? No, no, no. This is the first episode I've ever seen of seven. He, what he's saying is is that even though this was an amazing cap to the show, it does not. And he loved it. He doesn't. It's, he's not compelled to watch season seven. I feel the same way. I feel like I'm not compelled to watch matt you know the logan stuff i like matt a lot but i'm just i'm not compelled to watch any of that relationship oh really because because actually 
I mean, just without spoiling anything, I think that the Logan storyline is gets it gets the most interesting in season seven. Per- personally, I think it gets the most interesting because it's it's the most vulnerable that the character is throughout the entire series. But I'm um, not interested in that relationship. Okay, well, I mean. I mean, sure. I mean, I mean, if 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 that's if that's the reason why you wouldn't watch it, then that, that you makes know that's sense. been my stance but, from the start. But, I've never, I I didn't like Logan from the very beginning, and I have never given him a real chance. And I get that, but like, I, yeah, I, but 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 I but I agree with you because early on I felt the same way. I, he he really bugged me. I didn't like the privilege, you know, the cockiness, all of that, and. You know, as we start to get closer to this season, the character really starts to transform. I said yesterday, I thought that he had of the of all of the the um, Rory love interests. To me, he had the 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 broadest arc that we got to watch because, of course, the Jess character also transforms. We don't we don't really get to see that transformation. We just sort of jump ahead and see that he's you know he's grown a lot. Sure, but, th- but have this you is... seen the? Um, have you seen? I, I think I've seen a couple of of the episodes of the um, the revival. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, and... I haven't seen that. I, I, the only only episode that I saw was the episode that I was in that was at the premiere, and I didn't really totally. I don't really totally right. remember it because I don't okay. really didn't so really I'm know what I was watching. Very lightly here because I've known to like step in the like accidental like accidental spoiler. spoiler. Well, be careful because I really. Genuinely to want to know. Anything. I really I'm want to trying, know what happens. I'm We're going to cancel you, Shelly. Oh, You're going to get canceled. <laughs> yeah, don't cancel me. You're fired. Uh, no, but like, just, I just mean, I've never, I, I will never be on board. I will never be on board with him. And I'm going to mute myself now before I get in trouble. Boom. Done. Bye. <laughs> Shelly, well, he, I, I hey, think John. you should watch the John. last episode. Yeah. The one hey, John, it. real quick. Yes. It's Valerie. I'm at work, so I won't be able to really hang out with you guys, but I wanted to say hi to everyone. So, hi, Mike. Hi, Eris. Hi, Shelly. Hi, Alan. Hi, Nick. Hi, Devin. Hi, Rini and everybody. Hello. And Suzanne. See you in October. And, and Sean Hello. and Patty. Hi, Val. Um, we'll see you in October. I don't have much Val. to contribute because I wasn't able to watch this, but I can tell you one thing. Patty sent me a photograph that I have no remembrance of until she sent it where... Sally Struthers grabbed me and started spinning me in front of that big old tent that had the rain scene in this episode. And I sent it to John. I, just, I don't know if he posted it or not. But. I just realized, I just realized I need to get people up here onto the couch. I, I'm like, I'm complete. I, I, I just got completely swept up by the, by the whole um, emotional ending. So keep, keep, keep talking. I'm going to just bring but some folks up. I just wanted to say hello to everyone. And I miss you. I'm sorry. I couldn't watch this episode. It was last minute and I need to get my hours because it looks like Hollywood is probably going to go on strike very soon. Sarah, Delara, um, and Nancy, please raise your hand for me hi, when I turn on the couch. Nancy, yeah. Delara. Yeah. I just want to say Logan had a pretty cool sister though. That's all. Oh, absolutely. Oh, we all <laughs> love her. <laughs> yes. And if Nancy, his sister I miss and Sarah. Sarah. Some <laughs> That's all we need is for her to actually say something. And I hope to see you guys all in October. Whoever I see in October, I'd love to see you. Anyways, I'm going to talk to you guys later. Um, I'll try to listen for a little bit longer, but I am at work and they're shooting a big party scene. And uh, it I have to take off too. Hey, Valerie, I have to take off too. It was so fun. Aw. Yes, it's a fun thing to all be here. All right. Yes. Bye. Thanks okay. Coming, and I'm, by the way, oh yeah, I uh, I'm you. almost almost done with the book, and and maybe in a few weeks, um, we can do that book signing with the people that bought the books before I sold out. Nancy Hunter maybe yes. do it on and Jules. Or something. A combination of Remarkus and Zoom. I'll set up a Zoom. You guys do the Remarkus, and we'll we'll be on both platforms, and I can talk on both platforms. We'll figure it out. We'll be able to visually watch it on Zoom as we talk on Remarkus. How about that? Val, Curry I'll send you a message because um, I'm one of those people, but I can also yeah. have rooms Curry, right here. Curry, Kathy, and Ella. So we'll connect about that. Yeah, absolutely. We'll do it like in, in like two weeks. We'll connect about it because I'll be finished, finished with the book by then. Perfect. Hello. Hello, everybody. Oh, boy. What a, Hi. What a ride. Kendra, just, Krista, Zachary. 
Kendra Krista Zachary. Hey, everyone. Hi, everyone. Wandi Sarah Hillary. I got to say, I did love this episode. This was great. Everybody had their moments in it. Yay, I mean, Alan. It. Had you seen it before, Alan? No, I have not. I had not. I haven't seen the season. Um, you know, they, yeah, I didn't see it. And we, ha you know, we had talked about that earlier, but I agree with Nick completely. It was a, it was a, a, a beautiful tie-in, you know, kind of a, a nice bow at the end of the, the whole run. Watch yeah, you got yeah. to watch, watch the, the episode pieces, before this. You got to yeah. watch the episode before this, though, because I think there's some important information you might be missing leading into the revival. Yeah, yeah for sure. Tasha, say. Heidi, Diane. The Logan storyline and the things that resolve before this episode um, are, are like they end before this episode. So anything. That What's comes funny from is them. I feel like they had Maybe mentioned I'm... us in this season, and I. I don't remember what it was. I think they told oh, us. Oh, they mentioned the they mentioned the Life and Death Brigade. They go on like a Las Vegas thing, so they they definitely yeah. mentioned you guys. How amazing is that? Not to get um, to like um, fangirly or whatever, but I can't Heidi, pick, Kristen, Carl. I can't pick between you oh and gosh, Tank tell. as my favorite. So both of you are my favorites. I'll take it. I just wanted to say that. Um, Christiane Amanpour is someone I've worked with before, and she is super proud of the fact that she was on this show. She actually talks about that a lot. Sabrina, you wait till the whole That's so series cool. to say this to us. T. Charlie um, Regina. I've said this T. Charlie Regina. I'll try not to fangirl that Kiko is, is here on the couch now. Oh, Kiko. Hey, Kiko. Hey, Kiko. Hi, Kiko. Hey, Kiko. Hi, Kiko. Hi, Kiko. Kiko, um, I just wanted to say one thing that I wanted to say way back in like season four, but I wasn't able to because I was on a ride to a thing and internet, whatever. But I just wanted to say thank you so much for being a part of Gilmore Girls. Yeah, thank you so much. Literally, your character and like the representation of your character really helped me as a kid be able to see and like be able to digest and humanize like actual asian american characters on tv shows like it literally went from like gilmore girls to gray's anatomy and it just kept going from there and it just it all started with you and your character was laying kim on gilmore girls and i just thank you so much for that like i appreciate you Oh my gosh, that is so sweet for you. Hey Keiko, I you. was I was watching a clip on YouTube where it was talking about um, behind the scenes of the season fin the series finale, and uh, you were giving like um like a behind the scenes of like the last like the last taping. That was your last scene, wasn't it? Anna Kelly Sherry. Oh, I'm confused. <laughs> oh, sorry. What? Sorry. So you did a um. On the special features of the DVD, yeah. you did a behind the scenes of like the last day of filming. Was that your last scene? Oh, yes. Yeah, that was the, the yeah. I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah, on the DVD, yes. That was my actual last day. Yeah. How did you um, feel about that hey last everyone. scene? Hey, everyone. No boards on those. Hey, this is really dirty. Hi. Hi. Yeah, it was, it was sad. Well, we didn't know it was our last day. <laughs> we thought maybe we would come back for another. So it was a weird, uh, it was, now that I look at it, I think it's really sweet, though. And it was with Todd, who's not here today, but um, no, he, he was John. here. He, he was so here. He had, to, here he, had today. To, he had to jump. He, he was here for the first part. He was here for a half hour. Super cool. Yeah, he 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 left right before the the um the scene that you the two of you have in in the house, which was <laughs> was uh yeah, which was really awesome, and that was the whole. I mean, I don't know. I mean. Maybe it's that I've just gotten so swept up by, I for me season seven doesn't like with the exception of the first two episodes, which I've said before are you know they're they're I ha I have some issues with those episodes for the most part I absolutely love uh, so much of this uh, of this season and and this episode was really was really.
beautiful. And Todd paid you some high compliments for your up TV uh, spots that you guys just filmed. They did some promos, oh, yeah. um, and it looked great. Hey, Keiko, it's Shelly Cole. I hey. haven't. We haven't talked in. Well, I guess the last time we talked, we were face to face. It's so nice to just see you and be part of this with you. Hi. Hey, hey, Shelly. Yeah, the um, the promos look great. You still look like you're. I don't know, eighteen. <laughs> how's, how's your husband? Oh, he's great. He's here. We're in Hawaii. Yeah. Ooh. Well, hello. Nice. Wait, so what time is it? New York misses you. Uh, <laughs> you're you're in Hawaii right now. Yeah, yeah. Just for just for a little, uh, just a secret, uh, not secret, but uh, 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 just to see my family. What time is it out there? Uh, five. Oh wow. Yeah. So I'm sure you guys had such a great time. It's so nice to see all of your faces. Um. Oh my goodness. It's all done. Yeah, super I, emotional. I'm, yeah, yeah like this episode was so sweet, and I'm so sorry to like just go into Keiko and not say hi to everyone. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Glad hey, to be hey, I here. A, <laughs> I, just... I have a question, Keiko. Do you do you have any memories from this particular episode? Because I was saying, for me, this episode is really hazy. The only thing that I remember, I just remember that I was in, you know, I was in that scene where we were setting up the the nighttime party. And then I was also in the scene under the tent, but I didn't really have much context for what they were. I, I, I remember we just got there and I was just, everyone was just cheering. I didn't really know what we were cheer, cheering about, but oh do you have God. any specific, do you have any specific, God, I mean, I, do you do <laughs> any homework before you show up to set? I just want to, I really did any zero. homework. I, I mean, it's so clear from, I did, I did not <laughs> like, I knew, basically nothing about this show when I started watching Oh, good it. Lord. I mean, the only thing that I knew is that Lorelai and Rory were girls. That's the reason why it was called wow. Gilmore Girls. Wow. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> um, I mean, I knew little bits and pieces, no, but for the most part, I didn't. But, you know, I mean, for an episode like that, I, I, I felt like, I don't know. I, 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 yeah, I probably got the script and I just didn't read it. <laughs> I mean, no, I'm going to be honest, that probably I do, I do remember just that it was nice to have everybody there, you know, like we, we didn't, it was like a faux ending because just in case we couldn't come back and, and it was, uh, you know, it was good to see it. We were never on all on the same bed on the same day. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Keiko, we, we, we had discussed this a couple nights ago, but yeah, we, we were you under the impression as I, as I was that we were probably going to do another half season? come back i don't know like i heard from uh, um, face yeah i i didn't know i thought we were yeah yeah i didn't know either but that's what i thought well i i was actually saying in the episode that that um when we were watching that the the scene where um the scene where where we're setting up the the nighttime the nighttime like where we're all where we all have those like like tables that we're bringing in and then we have to like walk off and whatnot that, that was actually you. the last scene. that was the last made me so mad shot. you give yourself a booboo no carol you get you, someone's on, like, on mute. <laughs> once again we're, we're once again we're hearing we're hearing carol speaking to her dog whose name is dog kirk, whose name is dog kirk no joke um, <laughs> It happens. It happens often. I'm it's, sorry. It's, it's a running gag within the Rutgers community. Really? Is that, is that whenever is Carol, Dunkirk? whenever Carol comes up on on the couch, <laughs> she's almost always reprimanding her dog, whose name is Dog Kirk. Oh my! I love that. That sounds that's on brand. That's really good. Very nice. incredible. Amazing. Um, spectacular. So, uh, so yeah, I remember that after we shot that scene. Scott walked around to everyone and shook everyone's hand and said, I'll see you next season. And I was joking in the show that Scott basically just jinxed, jinxed the eighth season from happening by doing that. But I think that, that he genuinely believed it or, or was trying to manifest it or something because. Yeah, I think so too. I think he was like, he, he was trying to at least will it to happen. I think. Well, yeah. he's he said on his um, podcast a few weeks back that um, at least he still had um, a contract with um, the network and they wound up um, putting him on Aliens in America or something because they had to put him on something because they had him contracted to work and 
they had to pay him either way. So they found him a new show to do the next year. Yes. Um, so he, he would have been working either way. He just didn't know if it was going to be more Gilmore or something else. That's By correct. the way, he has he has his music and his coffee, both of which are incredible. <laughs> Agree. But didn't you guys think that it was over? Like, I don't know, when I watched that finale, like to me it's not just a, a season finale, it very much feels like a series. Yeah, finale. it feels very, very final. Why I'm I was so shocked to hear everyone saying they believed they were coming back because that just feels so final. I think I'm in the minority because I remember watching the finale and thinking, oh, I can't wait till the fall and we see what happens with Rory and what Luke and Lorelai are doing. And then like a week later, I found out that it was the actual series finale and I cried all over again. Oh, no. Yeah, I was 14 when this series ended. And I was going into my, um, unfortunately, second year of eighth grade. And I heard about it just before my second year. And I was like, you're kidding. Like, I have to, like, go through all of high school without guilt. Hey, Hey, Shelly. I actually do do have a really important question for Keiko um, um, and Sean. Well, and Nick. And so, you know, during those first several years, Amy and Dan had an amazing Christmas party every year at their house. Like, did that, did those, I don't have, I have such killer uh, pictures of both of you uh, and, and Marion, whatever, you know, Mrs. Mrs. Cunningham, uh, so many people. Uh, did those parties continue? That's for Sean. Sean and Wait, say that again. The, 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 the Paladinos, their Christmas parties, did those yeah, so parties, every year did those they parties a, continue? But yeah, Nick continue. and I never, I never saw you, uh, I never saw John, I never saw, uh, you know, Nick in any of those parties because I think you guys came a little bit later. Oh, but... I was at, I was at, I, I, I to, mean, I went to those parties. I went to one of them. To the best of my knowledge, they quit. I mean, I, maybe they still do them in New York, but, you know, they, they moved to New York. So as soon as they left... Um, as soon as they like left that house, four. um, yeah. that Hampton Park house, I think, I think that's when they, ended. yeah. All right, my New York girls, let's go find them. Oh my God. I have so many amazing I'm pictures from those years. And Keiko, you and your husband and Sean and Mrs. Cunningham. And, but I don't remember any of it. Like, I don't remember, well, Nick wasn't there yet, but like, John, I don't think you were in any of those pictures. Now there was Todd. I, I definitely went to several of them. I mean, in fact, I remember, I remember even being at, I mean, I remember being at, at, at least one of them where uh, I remember it was, I, I was there and, and Keiko and Chin, you, you, uh, you were both there. And I remember we had, we were having a conversation. I specifically remember having a conversation with Chin about the birds, about the about the band. Well, the Sean, do you remember when those parties ended? Um, I don't know. I mean, I, 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 I don't think I was going anymore after the show was over. Not you know. So I went to only one, and that was season five. So they went at least that long. Yeah. yeah. I think they went a couple seasons <laughs> after um, Shelly, you were gone. Cause I know George was always go and he would tell me everything about the party. So I know they went on at least a couple more seasons. I'm going to bring some photos to the next fan fest. Bring but, them all. Anyway, I, I, I was just asking, I, I didn't know Keiko that you, you said that you weren't, uh, that you weren't going to be able to stay too long, but I just was curious if you remember anything specific from, from that, that, final from that final episode any memories from it um, 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 um were you no only the one <laughs> no i mean the old like i said i mean I, like i don't have very many but i just remember that moment with scott that was it i remember it was raining right? but it wasn't raining. It wasn't raining no that was a rain machine Oh, that was a God. rain machine. See, this is how bad it is. In my mind, it was raining. No, no, I was that, and that—that's the thing I remember. I remember being there, and being like, "Wow." You mean it didn't snow when it snowed in no. Santa Hollow? <laughs> no. Oh, God. Although I'm so here's something that's it. kind of here, here's something that's a little bu- bit of a bummer because I mean the snow on that show 
still is like magic to me just watching it and then i remember being there um and being so just absolutely amazed by how well that snow was put together and all the different types of snow that they had to create to create this larger you know look of snow that's a company called called um snow what is it snow snow bi snow, snow business is this a paid promotion john no no i wish it was they went <laughs> they went they went under <laughs> they went under during the pandemic oh, okay no. i'm gonna That's i'm, so I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna respectfully said. disagree with you about that snow the snow looked great but <laughs> they were many sean I sean? wrote on that, Sean. And you can read that the snow day. killed Sean. It was like what? having asbestos on on uh, everywhere. <laughs> That's <laughs> <awesome>. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> <cool. laughs> that snow went home with me in my car, in my clothes. I I was not a fan yes. of either. It was terrible. Yes. yes, thank you. It was the worst. <laughs> All right. So I, I I only I must have only seen the snow once or twice because I was just I was just amazed by it. I was amazed by it. I the, think like, it, there was I think a comment it, made. I'm sorry. I was just going to mention, I think um, Sean had more of an experience with it because he actually, um, he and Andrew and um, Taylor and all the guys and with the reenactment had to get st stand in basically a snow drift in season one um, yes. when they were doing the reenactment. So I think that he was Thank actually you. kneeling in it for several hours at one point. Thank you for bringing that up. I, I don't know who else here was there that night, but that that was probably the single. Oh, well, it's a tough call now, but it's it's. What about it's, when it's, you were in a dress, Sean? It's, it's was that worse? The, no, 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 no. The it hot was, dog it is was the, the worst. Single the worst, hot dog. most probably grueling episode of. Um, of really uh, single most grueling day on set of just about anything I've ever done in my entire career <laughs> was that night I, I with, love it. With, with the fake snow we're trudging through we're all dressed as civil as a as revolutionary war reenactors so we're wearing all these like authentic old you know just these old costumes from the from the Warner Brothers vault and breathing in that paper all night and they there was this long one -er that was a walk and talk from the where we're walking from the uh, uh from the miss patty's to the middle of the town square okay. and i believe we did over 45 takes of that no um, of wow. that thing and, no, and, no. and the actor i'm just gonna say this now i don't care who knows so so david huddleston the actor who played the mayor you may you may realize remember there's a mayor in an episode or two at the beginning of season one. Harry, I believe his name was. And that yep, his night, name is Harry. That night he was we were sitting there and he's like, I'm never doing this show again. And uh and that was it for him. And that's why there was no more mayor. <laughs> okay, that. no, no. That's <laughs> and, and, and Mystery Taylor, Solve. And Taylor yeah. was then promoted, uh, you know, that like then town selectman became sort of the proxy mayor they didn't make you know they didn't make taylor the mayor they just made the the, the selectman be the the biggest job in town but that's why the, that's why david heldelson never did the show again okay. is, is mike movie. still is mike still with us I, yeah. there you are yes um, he is i think you were sharing some of those memories on scott patterson's podcast you want to share them here for anyone who hasn't heard them well i remember it exactly like sean does it that that and that was my first episode and i thought this would be fun and then there were i i would have said 30 takes but 45 probably is closer because we just had to keep walking down that little sidewalk in front of luke's and then we had to turn and it, and then there'd be a cut and i was like i i'd been a writer on tv show so i didn't know i'd never heard of 40 takes of something i thought you know all the shows i worked on they did it in two takes and we were done so uh, i went <laughs> walk down a sidewalk can you just cut it to get okay back to one and we just kept doing it over and over and then everything sean said was correct it, the thing i remember though there was styrofoam that sort of cut out in front of you so you could kneel in a styrofoam thing and they're covered in soap and paper was the snow and it was everywhere and it went in your nose yep was, 
I mean, I was excited to be there for the day, but I did not. Um, it was a crazy experience. Okay, I want to. I want. I want to ask you a really important question for like Aris for everybody um, who recurred as an actor or Patty. You know, anybody who like you know who really was just on the show for years and recurred. Favorite director and least favorite director. Okay. Ooh, Bond. my I mean that's Bond. easy for me, Kenny Ortega. Like without even having to think twice. Yeah, but I mean he did some, but like I mean I'm talking about the regular directors that they had over and over. I got I got to have Kenny. I, a, I worked a with Kenny times. several times. I worked with Kenny a few times. Well, what I mean is, yeah, me too. But like I'm talking about those ones that they had, like Jamie Babbitt, that were over and over and over, and Michael Cattleman over and over again. Kenny by far was the best one. Yeah, I agree. But like the ones who they like kept having over and over again. Um, Bon, you guys don't. I like. I'm assuming you're. I'm assuming you're excluding Amy and Dan from this. I actually. I mean. Yes, hundred percent. Yeah. No. I would love it when Amy and Dan directed because it was like so. Everything was so streamlined. My favorite was uh, Lee Shalit Semmel. Um, I loved her. She was great, and she and she was, uh, she was great. Um. Least favorite. I still, you, you know, like I, I, I can't, I can't say that. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to say that either. But Lee Shamlet Shamel plays the harp. Everyone, that's my little bit of tip, tidbit that I can tell you because I ran into her harp teacher, who is a friend of my husband's. There you go, bam! The big news for me, Lee Shamlet Shamel. She, she plays, plays the, the harp. harp. I really loved. I I really loved Lee. Um, Lee actually was that. Lee was the director who who let me shadow during that episode of um, of French uh, French Kiss French Kiss or was it French Twist What was it French Twist French Twist French Kiss um, Yeah she she that that was she she was the director that I was that I was shadowing and I and and I I had a pretty good relationship with her otherwise I wouldn't have I wouldn't have felt comfortable enough to ask her if I could shadow so I really did love working with her. But I don't. I guess I'm unclear why Kenny wouldn't technically fit into that no, as will, well. No, Okay, fine, fine, fine. No, he's he definitely does. my. He's definitely my favorite. I wor- worked with him um, uh, a few times, and and all they were all. I mean, and maybe it was also that I just loved the episode itself. But I feel like they gave Ken, they often gave Kenny these like very com- like episodes that required a lot of like kind of. Com- a lot of blocking and and and, and the choreography, some... no choreography in terms of like long shots where you yeah I and I Ken, I did I love that him once. Um, I think like, Ken, I, I think Kenny did the most sweeps episodes of any Gilmore director. Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. No, he, makes... he counts. Um, but I mean, he's an obvious choice because he's so amazing. Like for me, Michael Cattleman was awesome. If you guys remember he was great. him, Cattleman he was, was great. He was <laughs> okay. So you've kind of hinted at to Shelly. You've kind of hinted with your kind of dislike for, um, and correct me if I'm wrong, Rory and Logan's relationship. And when you were on last, I didn't want to ask because I didn't want to like make that the focal point of every time a guest is on the show. Um, where does your loyalty lie then, or do you not have a loyalty? Yeah, I, 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 I think, I think um, I've been very uh, vocal about this. I, I don't mean to say anything about, like, I'm not trying to cut you down if you haven't heard this before. I am so much, it's hard for me to separate reality from fiction. And so I'm really a big fan of, um, of Jared. Uh, so I'm definitely- I won't judge you. <laughs> I'm, I'm a team Jared guy. Now, if I was a, if I was a, girl like in that time and I was trying to you know try to decide who the best guy for me is I don't think that Jess probably is the best guy because sure I don't I can understand it he's really I think you know he stirs up a lot of really important things in Rory and she needs that um but but I am I have been always will be I'm always a team Dean guy, girl. I mean, I'm just Sam. And I'm team Jared. So, you know, that's where I lie. I don't know. But I also, was, uh, I was friends with Jared dance. for a long time. Yeah, Jared is, is amazing. And, and that, and 
<clears throat> when I first when I was first asked the question, or first started being asked the question, I also did the same because I hadn't watched the show, so I didn't really know, and I was kind of dancing around trying to, you know, not let on that I didn't know that I really knew so little about the show. Um, so I always said Team Jess because I really because I I just. You, what? Of, the, you, of the three of, of the three of them, no, because of the three of them, I I I knew Milo the most from having worked on set with with him, and 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 I really liked Milo, um, and and so I just I I did the same thing that Shelly's doing. I just sort of equated the real person. Once I watched the show, then I actually developed you know my own feelings about the characters themselves, and I think that where I landed was m emotionally, I'm. I'm the most, I'm, I'm probably emotionally team Logan, but sort of feel like Rory kind of doesn't, you know, she, she kind of needs to be on her own now um, at the end of the series. Uh, but I, I'm, curi I'm Sorry, actually Gondra. curious really quickly though. I want to, I want to hear from, from uh, Devin, y you, you watched, you said that you watched the series, but, but was it that you stopped watching the series once you were an actor on it? Did you ever watch season seven? No, I didn't. I uh, I watched it before I got hired, and then, uh, yeah, and then di yeah, didn't watch it while I was working on it, and and didn't pick it back up. It just felt really different having been on it. Not that yeah. I didn't still love it. I just I don't know. I didn't intentionally not watch it. I just didn't watch it. So I so yeah. So I I think I had seen this episode before, because I didn't like ban it or anything i might have watched the film oh, so you knows, have, so but you i have just seen this episode i i can't i'm not sure i, can't, I think i'd seen well, it what did you think of the episode what did you think of the episode i agree that it seems like a series finale for sure yes. yeah yeah and that's it the was reason why lovely. like Sean, like the the one thing that like it's true i guess i guess it's true if scott was really like see you next season see you next season and that everyone's feeling like that but Man, the writers must have certainly had the sense that it wasn't going to happen because, or that there was a good chance it wasn't going to happen because this episode really feels like, I mean, just the fact that they end the episode on the exact same shot as the very first episode of the entire series ending, you know, yeah. the, the ending is, the, those two endings are the same. It seems like it's a deliberate bookmark. In fact, it seems beautifully back for tied up. episode seems weird. Well, John, you haven't yeah. seen any of the revival, correct? I saw, I saw, I just saw the one that I'm in for that, that they showed at the premiere. And then, and then, um, and then I'm in, you, another, I, I'm in another, I'm in another one that winter. I haven't seen. Are you, in, are you in any of the, uh, do you hear any of the spoilers? No, I, I don't right. know anything about it. I, I really, I genuinely, uh, Babsy was, ba Babsy was watching it and I like came down and, um, and I deliberately like was like I don't want to I don't want to know because I'm going to watch this at some point. Well, and so I don't I, I don't I, know. I have a question for Keiko. Uh, Keiko, did you how did you feel about uh, Lane and uh, her relationship with uh, her boyfriend? I'm sorry, I'm having a brain fart. With Zach. Zach. Zach, how did you feel about the evolution of that? Can you talk about that a little bit? Oh sure, I think I talked about this uh, at the last clubhouse, but I think, but but you know, I, I wasn't I saw, there. Oh no, 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 I know. <laughs> but uh, uh, just uh, these days, I sort of wish something. Um, I have these daydreams for Lane that she breaks away and goes on a road trip by herself and finds uh, that she has some kind of musical adventure um, that is separate from her husband and kids and mom Yay. and um, best friend. Yes. Okay, you know what? I have to go, but I love you, John. I love you, Sean, Nick, Alan, Mike, Suzanne, who I didn't even say, Shelly, Eris, everybody. Keiko, thank you thank for joining you us, so Keiko. Much. Yay! Love you, Keiko. 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 Keiko. Bye, Keiko. Thanks, Keiko. Bye. Bye. Oh. Bye. Oh. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.
um, but any of um, ev any of our special special guests who, who need to skedaddle um, totally um, totally understand. Um, we we would love to have you as long as you'd like to stay. Alan, um, what did you think of this I, episode? Did, did you like we heard Nick, but like I'm curious about you because you specifically were like, I won't watch season seven, but now I forced you to watch one of them. I mean, I'm you know, I'm I was kind of just more uh, caught up on all the performances because it's it's so it's so funny to hear everyone not not think that that was the last episode because those scenes felt so obvious. Yeah, um, big time, you know, like she's leaving, you know, and she's saying goodbye to everybody. And at they everybody had their kind of uh, moment. I actually think the, the Keiko scene with her was so sweet. Um, there were yes. so many moments that I was getting choked up on. I was like, what the hell is happening? This is really, this is really beautiful. Where would I you, will admit the Keiko wait, scene was the one yeah, that was stuck a, out for me. It was amazing. Me. Wait, like I'm gonna, I'm gonna. I just want to throw this to some folks who I haven't heard from. Suzanne, did you watched it with us, right? Like you, you. Yes, did I you, did. did. Did you watch? Did you watch? Um, did you watch season seven at all, or was this just no, like? No, this was my, my first. So I, I learned a lot of things. I'm, I'm still trying to catch up, guys. I'm really behind. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I didn't even know that was what happened to Keiko's character. So she got married and had. She had babies. She had twins. 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 <gasps> Oh my gosh! That, I from totally her would first not have time. seen that. She oh, had yeah. twins, and which, which is a, which is a yes. sex once, which is kind of a big controversy in the fandom. You know, a really? lot of folks and Amy has been has been quoted as saying it's the it's the aspect that she, you know of all the things that she was sort of handed from yeah. the writers of season seven to 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 contend with when writing the revival. The one that she was the most disappointed with was yeah. that the Lane character was was given to was given twins or was given given a child but like specifically given twins twins oh my yeah. gosh because when i saw that little it was so sweet you know her and um rory on the on the outside porch and i was like wait she, did she just say pregnant and i was like yeah. whoa whoa did not think that that's where it was gonna go yeah but um well where would, where would, I mean, I'm, I'll just throw this out to everybody here on the couch. Like, where would they go with like, with a, with a 10 episode eighth season? <sighs> Rory's leaving Stars Hollow. She's like, she's going to I Iowa? Yeah, for the yeah. caucus. Yeah. Okay, right. Hey, hi, hello, yo, what's up? So she coming to Iowa. <laughs> is she, so, I like, uh, wait, who is that speaking? Carl. Oh, it's, it's me, Carl. Carl. That's my friend, Carl. <laughs> I'm trying to scroll Carl. down to see you. His picture it's is about balloon. Carl. Carl. His it's picture about, is a balloon. It's yeah, like Carl. Carl. Carl's He's, his best name is Carl, Carl. but his, but his name is de deceptively looks like Coral. I know I call him Coral Reef. And his picture Thank is you, him with balloons. Like, like yeah, Sean, I'm from where, Iowa. Sean, Sean, where do you th where do you think they could go? Well, I mean, I, like, I like. Think Look, that, that's a good question. I mean, but just remember, you know, just remember when you write for TV, you can do whatever you want. So it's like, I think, um, I, 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 I don't specifically remember what the thought was, but I think that the, what they would have done was had her actually be in Iowa for a couple episodes and then she would have had to come back for some reason or what, I, you know, I mean, the show follows Rory when she goes off to college. They can surely follow her right. when she goes off to wherever it is that she goes. Yeah, you know, um, and uh, yeah, I don't know. I think so, fans. I think fans were really um, hoping for a little more closure on the Luke and Lorelai front because they finally reconciled in basically the second to last scene of the entire series, and they wanted to at least myself and all of my friends, we wanted to see where that was going to go. I think well, like with, um, I'm piggybacking off of you, Hillary. I think with that, I think maybe they would have um, had like something like with Luke and Lorelai and then like um, getting like postcards or um getting like a letter from Rory saying like, Hey, like, this is where I am. This is what has happened. And maybe we would have had like something with like the grandparents, like getting like a postcard, a letter as well. Maybe they would have like 
um, just not had like Rory in it, but like having her essence be there with like getting postcards. But, well, I mean, you know, even my, when she my went thoughts... to, even sorry. when she went to, uh, sorry, even when she went to Europe um, with Emily um, briefly in season four, um, season five, really, um, they even showed her. Like, yeah, kind it was of sort like of offset. It was just like a little tr truncated trip somewhere. I guess they could do it. I, I guess it's just more like, like I understand the the discipline. Like for me, I I'm guess kind of, I don't. Like, I don't totally need to know exactly yeah. what's going to happen with Luke and Lorelai. Like the fact that they're back together again. Like a lot of the things that I needed to understand about how they would get to a place where they could be back together again actually happened in the episodes leading up to this kiss. They had all yes. these scenes where they had to sort, where they had to get things out, where they needed to explain what their whole side of it, where they needed to express the fact that they've but grown. But it felt like it felt like this entire episode, without seizing, seeing the season, felt this in, like this entire episode was about the hope of new beginnings and like without answering any questions it was like yes. new beginnings and let's see where they go and let's use our imagination and that's it agree that's so alan, 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 I agree. Alan, alan, yes. was it you or was it mike I, I i wasn't up there that that had something that you wanted to add to it yeah no i, I kind of was just agreeing with with you of like you know we could think of probably a really good storyline for 10 more episodes and and maybe it's cool and maybe it wraps up a little more but at the same time i feel like it it kind of did everything with kind of just leaving a little inkling of something i i think i brought this up last time um when we were talking about what other shows we liked or something like that and friday night lights if anybody was a fan of that show kind of ended in a way where totally. it, didn't answer, it didn't answer a lot of questions of where everybody was going next you kind of just knew the stepping stone of what the next thing was, and you you, you just didn't need any more than that. And it was really beautiful too. Hey John, yeah, I, mean, I kind of felt like that. For a while. It was kind of like that. My yeah, we said. I, I think there's a. I think that's a. It's a, a very very um, precarious place to be in, where you could sort of ruin it for everyone, or or you know make it for most people if you just leave a little bit of the mystery there. I, I think it was well handled. Ultimately, well handled. Yeah, Zach, there was a lot Zachary, of mystery. Zach, did you want to say something? Oh, um, I, I just wanted to point out that Mandy's been flashing for a while. Oh, Mandy, Mandy, did you have some, a thought that you wanted to share? Um, yeah, I was, I was actually um going to say what Alan just said. I, I feel that um, I did. I'm glad that the show ended where it did. I feel like if it would have gone on longer, it would have just been too much but I think that the open endedness of everything um, was the perfect way to end it because people were able to view it on a positive note and going on for much longer than that would have left it open for you know more negativity and it would have been hard to figure out how to end it if they would have continued after the season I feel All like right. um yeah. Can we jump I'm in? Sure. And yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to... actually jump. I'm gonna and... actually jump this over to Claudia. We don't have too. We don't have Thank too many you. more minutes. Thank you. I was gonna before, say that <laughs> before we. Uh, yeah. Be, um. Uh, most of these folks. Um. Uh. I I gave them a, an eight forty five time where this is gonna be done. So. Um. In. Uh. So Claudia, uh, do you have a thought? I actually, as I watched the show the first time, I'm such a like. I love happy ends. I want my shows like Gimme Girls to end with a happy end. And I hated it so much that they did like the proposal of Logan at the end. And she said no. It was such a turn off for me that I didn't watch the show for years afterwards. I just thought that's not how a show should end, which was so such a lovely story. And they always talked about girlfriends and happy family. And then they left Rory alone. That was a no go for me totally. So that's what I wanted to say. <laughs> I'm not happy about it. Oh, whereas I was so happy that she was going out into the world by herself. That made me so happy. Yeah, same me here. Too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same. well, like Same. I think I think the it end, didn't fit. You know, the it didn't fit to Rory. 
if you a... think about sorry if you if you think about Rory in the whole show she was always sticking to someone and it didn't fit to her going off like this i think it didn't fit to her character at this I point think that's in the storyline I, I agree. That's why she is finally growing up. I think that's why they put her off on her own because she didn't need to cling on to men anymore. I was, gonna, I was actually going to say the same thing. That a, I think a big part of it was that was her arc was that she needed to get to a place where she didn't need to be hanging on to someone. Yeah, that's I've had friends who. Like, I, I think that's where her real journey begins. Right. Yes. So maybe a spinoff show would have been better. Yeah. <laughs> it, it was like the first time she ever chose herself instead of choosing another person or another man, especially. Hey, John. But she didn't choose herself. She was just throwing into it. She wanted to do something else. She didn't get it. So she, she just jumped at the first choice she had. So I think it's not choosing yourself if you just have one chance and you need to grab it to survive, basically. Hey, John. To get money. I just want to say, in case any of you have to get get running, oh. I just wanted to thank you all for for, I, uh, uh, for coming and thank you so us. much. I, John, I, I'm, so I, I need to get going too. Yeah. Um, thanks for having me, everybody. I, uh, you know, I could have stayed. I could have talked for a while about, um, you know, all the plans for the characters of Kirk and and Robert to have a uh, motorcycle <laughs> trip through the south of France. Oh God! Uh, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's a. In a there's a thing, there's an eight. Eight. That's a story. Wait, wait, for wait, wait, wait. Can you give us like 90 seconds of that, please? <laughs> yes, please. Before I bounce. Just use your yeah. imagination. Yeah, that's the best 90 seconds you can imagine. All right. Uh, thanks, everybody. And uh, Bye, thanks, John. John. Thank you, John. Thank you, John. I have a question for Devin. Yeah. Devin, have you seen the series finale? We kind of talked about it before you arrived, so I'd like to know. I, I actually have not seen it. Oh. <gasps> We're spoiling so, you. You can, yeah. I, 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 feel I, like I really, being... I really loved it. I'm sorry. Yeah. How you dare should watch you. it, Devin. You should really watch it. Don't Devin. be sorry. At this point, you're, I think you're sorry that, that I didn't watch okay. it. I feel you know like we'll all watch I feel it like I have to say I'm sorry because <laughs> you know I feel like you got you know I feel like there's like so much like a oh it, we didn't get fulfilled and and the writers and all of that so I do feel like there's a bit of like a yeah. I have to apologize for. I think out of all of the cast and crew, John's one of the nicest. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Aww, we love that's you, John. I, I would have watched. That's just in online, my but his wife's really nice. I. The, the... <laughs> 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 you know what? You know what? That's he yeah. knows me well. He knows me. You, he Bobby. knows me well, so he can. He can keep the best. No, he's right the, about that. She's amazing. The, fa the finale is legit a great episode of television. It really is a great episode of television. And and hearing it talked about, like, I get further and further past my cynicism about season seven. But I still don't think I'm going to watch it. But that, but that is a really, Same really, way. that is a really good episode of television. Um, it's sort of everything Nick? it needs to be. I'm holding yeah, I'll agree with that. Nick. Nick, Just work I'm, backwards. I'm, Nick, I'm making you watch season seven with me. He promised. Siri, why? He promised me also, that we would, we would watch it while eating pizza in the bathtub. Also, you know what? That kid. I also, did make that promise. What? I admit I made that promise. I made that promise. Um, well, you know what, though? That, that, kiss, that kiss that, that, that happens in the episode. Yes. Is, oh, yeah. is great. And it also. It is fantastic. All, also, the way that the camera like swoops up off of them, like as they're kissing, is like just—it's just awesome. I'm sorry, yeah. it's just awesome. Yeah, it really is. And, and the thing I keep thinking about, John, the, the anecdote that you kiss, were talking about it. with with Scott shaking everyone's hand and and you know, see you next season, and you know, there's sort of this inherent romanticism to the Luke and Lorelai uh, relationship, you know, it's, it's, it's just, we all want it to happen. We're all begging for it to happen for so long, but there's, there's only a handful of episodes. And, and this one may be the best example of a time where Luke's character really is the quiet hero. And I think, 
I think I think Scott probably got really really moved by that, and and it it probably what was very influential it? in how hopeful yes. he was. Yes, have you seen? Nick? You have should you watch the karaoke episode, Nick, because because Luke has some emotion in that one as well. The character last two or of three Luke. episodes, yeah. at least the last was, like it, three episodes. Well, well and, and, all, all the same, all the same. That that is to my point. You know, there's there's this. Um, you know, Luke's character doesn't, he's not on the forward toe in most episodes. There's, there's a commitment. really is in this one. There's a commitment to that kiss. Yeah, yeah. And um, and I think so that well. probably influenced him as, as a person, as an actor. Like, you know, I really do care about this. I really do want this to go on. I really do love this. Um, Definitely. Despite, d- despite his flippancy otherwise. I, I think, uh, I don't know, but... You're 100 percent right because when we did the ATX Television Festival and and you know everyone was on stage and they were talking and and you know everyone was talking, you really felt from Scott more than anyone else. I I mean maybe maybe Kelly Bishop as well was a little bit there, but certainly Scott was like this ha- this has to happen. We need to find out what happens like this needs to happen i i just felt this energy from him that he absolutely had become super invested in i mean you know I, i'm sure he also loved that role and he wanted to play it again you know but that's I think, his money role for always but we they, they want to, closure but I, but i really got a sense that he wanted that closure for for that character i really i really ge- i thought it was very genuine um this this sense of like this has to happen we have to we, yes. we have to know what happens next happens so well i've 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 never thought of ill of him as a performer at all and i've always found him charming as luke but you know everyone in this episode is doing the thing that they have always done in the reliable way that makes the show the old friend that it always is to all of us where we can put it on and, and feel at home but great way to but, say but, I, but but i was but i was really impressed with scott's work in this uh in a way that i am not used to when i watch gilmore girls because i feel like he had a personal investment in in that ending that you're describing john he was the romantic guy that, like, we all want him to be. It was kind of a perfect ending. Ending. Also, also, this is th- this is a, a little specific that um, Nick and and uh, well, I mean, maybe you would because I know Nick, you you I know you saw enough of the season uh, of the series before. I don't know how how much you would remember Shelley, but this is for the rest of us who have been watching this together. The kiss here. Compare it to the kiss that they had in front of the um, in front of the dragonfly. End of um, season four. Yeah. End of season four. In that kiss, she moves towards him and he moves back. Or no, so, no, sorry. He moves towards her and she moves back, and then they kiss. Then she moves towards him and he moves back, and then they kiss. But and this here, particular kiss felt like this, it was like. Well, this particular kiss, they both came. St- together yeah, they both like it just moved felt like forward okay what's natural together. next it was exactly what has to be like they just walked towards each other and it yeah. felt as 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 real and natural as the air we breathe. yeah and that's like why it they felt were like magnetically the pull, pulled together but that, and that's the reason yeah. why it felt like the end and, that, and that's why it felt like the end to me because because it felt like that's the closure that's all we need i don't need to know like are they going to get married now are they going to like that to me that symbol of they their first kiss was not aligned it was like two magnets pu- pushing away from one another it was a romantic kiss there's no question about it but this kiss was these two people have found their alignment and but that's what now, i was talking about the ending yeah. to me the ending does not leave anything for like ah uh, it just feels like new beginnings and like all around and it just feels so hopeful let me ask you a question, John. Does this make you feel like maybe you don't want to watch the revival? I don't know if I'd go so far as to say that because I'm so invested in these characters now that I kind of just want to know what happens to them. And I think ten I'm years good. is good. Ten, ten years is a good time Easy. for me to 
for things to sort of simmer and for, for things to have happened. And I'm just curious, what happened to Rory in 10 years after she went off to work for that, for that online publication? I'm curious to find out, like, are Luke and Lorelai still together? Um, you know, I want to find out, like, you, you know, really don't to... know. Me anything. too. Uh, uh-uh. I, I really don't he know. Was... I don't really know anything. I mean, like, like I said, I, I watched the first one. We were in a theater and I, like, I, like, I just remember, I mean, maybe some of it will start coming back to me as I'm watching it, but like, I don't remember much because it, I, it was all just didn't make any, like, it was all out of context to me because I didn't really know much of the series beforehand and I didn't really know much of Same. the, I haven't watched the last oh. like three years. And then, and then, and then I'm in another episode as well during that, where I'm just in a movie theater, in, in the, the movie theater in, in Stars Hollow and that's it. Like, I don't know what else is even in that episode, <laughs> you know, like I, and so I don't really, I don't really know what, what's going on with those characters um, at all. The only thing that I do know that I am spoiled on is I'm spoiled on the last four words because we were, because I was talking about it with George Bell on set. <laughs> he told me. <laughs> God dang I got it, George. to know about those last words too. George, George was calling me every day, telling me the scoop. <laughs> oh right, uh, wait, you you were you were there, right? Were, were I did you not there? do. I didn't do the revival. No, and George, um, he would come off the off the lot and meet me for lunch, and he would just fill me in on everything. Because I, you know, because at that point, I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna like, like, I like it. It's not. It's not like something that I'm like itching to 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 watch right now or that I, that I feel like I need to now I actually feel bummed that I know it because I feel like, Oh, that's too bad because that is actually kind of an awesome last four words, you know? Wait, um, you know what? The last four words of the, the series. Oh. Yeah. So the last four words of the series are like an important four words that, that, that um, Amy has been saying for very long, had been saying for a very long time. Yeah. Were, but do you know anything prior to that? to those last four words yeah like no. lovers or anything no the only thing that i do know is i heard about a chewbacca you remember That's the, the only star thing wars i know something about a chewbacca because me uh, because something you're in I don't for know. something there nick That's is the actual... like i want to say That's like i want to say that, that like maybe i may, maybe i know that there's like that there's like a like, a, does she sleep with a Chewbacca? The <laughs> actual Chewbacca sleeps with a Chewbacca, comes back the show. No. The actual Star Wars Chewbacca is in this show. Like, the character. <laughs> like, I want to say that, I want to say that she sleeps with somebody so that's, cute. that, that was wearing a Chewbacca costume. You know, it was actually cool. Well, thank you so much for this incredible, oh. incredible series finale, like, rap party extravaganza. We... Bro, I mean, like we broke Clubhouse, basically. No, I mean, we had a pretty big room. I, I think it was it was certainly over 160 people at, at one point. Yep. Um, and uh, yes. um, I think it might have been. Fun. I think I think it might have been. Uh, at one point, I think it was 170, which is just that's awesome. extraordinary, but also sort of a testament to how much people love the show, how much people love you shelly you devin sean keiko everybody um and how much we love you john yeah, totally. well, yeah. yeah. john if you have been a dick all. this wouldn't have happened so <laughs> yes <laughs> well, john, john, I, I know you say it's about the community one. but you're at at the root of the, the community, yeah. john and yes. none of this exists without you yeah john, absolutely you. thank you john here here all right, everybody, I'm, I'm out. Good night, John. Bye, Good John. Night. Bye, John. Bye, John. Bye, John. Bye, John.